<sighs> okay. Let's see what we should uh, make a video about today. Doesn't look like there's much in my recommended. What the heck is this? Let's hold on. Let's click on it. Uh, hold on. Let's go full screen. Okay. So this looks pretty interesting. Hold on. Ooh. That guy looks scuffed up. Ooh. Marginally better. Uh, worse. Uh, better? Uh, worse. It's much worse. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Ah, there Ooh. we go. Welcome. Uh, pretend I remembered your name here. This is a pre recorded <laughs> message anyway. I would not want to be in the same building as that thing, I tell you. Wait, me. so what was the whole point anyway, of that introduction then? Well, you are for agreeing to test out the Wolf Stash Automated Interview Automaton. Or okay. for short. <laughs> Let's start off with some quick calibration. All you okay. need to do is sit back, relax, and listen for some numbers. Okay? Here we go. Alright, let's listen. So I guess this is like the FNAF 6 uh, interviews? Is there gonna be jump scare? Yeah, okay. Okay. I think three and four I actually heard. Due to the fact that, as I said before, this message is pre-recorded. Okay. If you did hear something, now would be the time to speak up. All right. Oh! Don't so we shy. actually get to choose. Sure oh, okay. But enough with the terrible acting. Hey, guys. Welcome to a different video for today. So a couple minutes ago, Markiplier uploaded this weird new thing called the Wharf Stash Automated Interview Automation, which I was very curious about, so I clicked on it. And I watched the whole video through, you know, that introduction thing was just me, you know, acting. <laughs> and when I saw that you got to choose two different paths, I immediately thought of, let's make a video on it, and I really wanted to. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. We're basically going to be, you know, play testing, I guess. Not play testing, but, you know, basically playing this out just for fun. You know, it does seem like a cool thing. I really do want to actually do this because it looks well done it looks like they put a lot of time and effort into it and i do actually want to you know play around with it but all credit goes to markiplier for this one you know because he basically made the video so i'll put his link in the description just in case but yeah i guess let's just get right into it so i think i heard numbers and it sounded like nightmare garbage to me oh you know should we do something fun where we just pick the the answer that we don't like? Nah, we won't do that. We'll just, uh, I, I heard numbers, so I, we'll go with that one. So we'll click that. That's great. All right. And then we'll just, oh God. That's great. Okay. Well, that, not really sure what you said. But I choose to remain positive and assume that you are still alive. Which okay. Means that our I'm guessing the other option, you just die. What the next test? Where okay. Is, who's the agent? The fundamental basis of any good interview is getting the goods out of those stubborn interviewees. The wire will say a word and you just say back the first thing that pops into your little head. Simple, right? Probably Wait, what? What are we supposed to do? Uh-oh. Initializing word association training protocol. Okay. Please respond. Wait, what? Sorry, I didn't get that. Round two. Uh oh. Please respond. Response unclear. What are we supposed to do? I have no idea. Uh oh. Round three. Um, uh-oh, uh, uh, potato salad. Oh, no. We did it! Hey, okay. Wow, potato salad, a real thinker, you. But the test has been passed with flying colors and you're still alive. And speaking of flying colors, our next test is about something called... Um, Synthetic linguistics. That's okay. Right. But the point is, you can have a good interview if the wire isn't able to conjure up the right words in the right situations. So our friend is gonna fire off some random words, and you just try to spot anything that doesn't make any sense. All okay. Right? Although, pretty much everything isn't going to make any sense because all random words. Uh, 
I believe in you. <laughs> okay. Initializing speech training protocol. Round one. Yes. No. Maybe. Left. Right. Okay. Up. Down. 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 Basement. Travel detected. Who? Where? What? Okay. Um. I. Green. Blue. Yellow. Pink. Red. What? I. Saw. You. What? So, how'd it go? Did you hear anything weird? Ooh. No, huh. Potato salad again. That's weird. Yeah. Must have really stuck in his head when you first said that. I'm guessing. I don't know what you're yeah. for because, as I said, this is... I'm guessing if I just pick the longer one, I'm obviously going to live because the shorter one, I probably just die. I will to take this bad boy for a spin with a full-on interview. A mock interview, mind you. Don't get too excited. It's not real. But there's no reason to wait around for the wire to get bored, so let's keep it nice and limber while you sit back and get ready for the interview of your life. And maybe the last one, too. Have fun! Okay, wait, what? Is this the last one? What are we gonna be doing? Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all other configurations of being. My name is Wilfred Wolfstock, and my guest tonight is uh oh. We have a great show. For Ooh, I don't really like this. First question How many people have you killed? What? Good answer. Second question. Oh no. The music. Oh, there's gonna be jump scares in there. A man goes to a party. This man met an old friend. The two friends Share some wine. Okay. The two friends played a game. The most dangerous game. Uh oh. I didn't know the gun was loaded. What? I didn't know. Was it my fault? Oh, we gotta pick yes or no. Was it? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say no. Let's just side with him. Hold on. You can't change the past. You can tell all the stories you want to tell. It won't change what happened. Okay. You can't rewrite the past. If you live in fantasy forever, you'll lose yourself in the story. Hmm. Potato salad. Red okay. Answer. That was a titillating interview for sure. That we are. Wait, did we do it? Thank you for joining me tonight. 
Ooh, that is really interesting. Hold on, I want to go back. Let's see what happens if we pick yes. So hold on, it's doing this and then. I don't remember who I was. I wish I did. But I am sorry. Potato salad. Oh, what? Answer that was a titillating interview. Okay. That we are out of time. Thank you for joining. Oh, so it isn't really that big of a difference, I guess. Okay, so I don't think it's that big of a difference. I don't think there's a jump scare. Let, let's let see if we picked wrong for some of them. I just want to see what the jump scare is then. All right, so I picked one of the wrong answers, so uh, let's just see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to mention. Please do not say the word nightmare or uh, garbage or nightmare garbage or any combination of those words. The why is just a little bit sensitive, you know, a little touchy-feely. Well, not really touchy-feely. Well, well, actually, really touchy-feely, depending Ooh. on your definition of touchy and feely. It's really got to... Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was the Warfstash Automated Interview Automaton. I, yeah, that was that. Okay, it's interesting, honestly. I'm very skeptical of what it is there is like a hidden message here and i i do like it so i am curious of where this is going to go it seems like markiplier is actually going to continue on this and i'm actually really interested honestly this actually you know put me on edge a little you know it, it was it was actually pretty creepy i actually kind of liked it it was good though it was really good <laughs> i actually did enjoy it it was really well made really well done the amount of effort put into this is really great and honestly I definitely had a lot of fun playing it, <laughs> to be fair. It's not really a game, but it kind of is. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to this channel, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and it helps the channel. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!